Today I'm gonna share with you my top 5 easiest diamonds to get on the Hunter Call of the Wild. I will include all the locations for every animal on this list, so I'm sure this video will be very helpful either if you want to get your first diamond or if you are looking to get more diamonds. An important thing is that this list doesn't include any of the dogs, mainly to make it more varied. Also, this is just my personal opinion and I would really like to see what you think down in the comments. With that said, let's head into it. Coming in at number 5 we have the Whitetail Deer. And you know, at this point almost everyone has a Diamond Whitetail, mainly because there are guides everywhere, because everyone wants to get a grey one, it is also super easy to set up a grind for them, especially on Rancho El Arroyo, and of course they spawn a lot. If you don't have a diamond yet, just place on tents close to these lakes, then start killing all the males, and you can expect to get a diamond every 100 kills, which is pretty much the average. Coming in at number 4 we have the female Gensbok. This is a diamond that used to be even easier to get on the past, but even with the decrease on their spar rate, they are still very easy to get due to the giant hairs that you can find in certain spots. If you want to get a diamond female Gensbok, there are two fantastic lakes. The first one is this lake down here, which is loaded with them on the morning. And the other lake is this one here on the right, it is also a great lake. Both of them are great at their dream time. These are pretty much all the spots. And in this case, I think your best bet to get a diamond gems box is to check these spots on as many multiplayer servers as possible until you find a diamond, which I'm sure won't take too long. And always remember that this is female gems box because the males can also make diamond, but they are like 10 times more rare, easily. Now before the number 3 I have an honorable mention, and it is actually one of the species that came with Rancho del Arroyo, that is the Diamond Antilope Jackrabbit. It actually seems like a lot of players are struggling to get one, but personally I seem to find them everywhere, especially on these two locations. So I don't know if it's just crazy luck or if they are just very common. And well, apart from Antilope Jackrabbit and the Whitetail, I think Rancho El Arroyo has a decent difficulty in terms of finding diamonds. I mean, it is still on the easy side, but it's not as easy as Buronga Savanna or Silver Ridge Peaks for example. Coming in at number 3 we have the Monan Lion. This one was probably the most common diamond a few months ago. However, I don't feel they are as common right now, they are still very common, but it's not as easy to get 3 or 4 of them per map anymore. I mean, I remember killing up to 3 of them on a single leg, they were just extremely easy to get, and if you still don't have one, here are all the locations to hunt them, either if you want to grind them on single player or multiplayer, I mean, you'll find one eventually, that's for sure. Actually, many of the species on Silver Ridge Peaks make diamond very frequently, specifically close to the release day, there were diamonds everywhere. Probably the only diamonds that weren't as easy to get were the diamond black bear and the diamond mule deer. And yeah, the Diamond Mountain Lions were very easy to get, the easiest of them all, but right now I think there's another Silver Ridge Peaks Diamond that is even easier to find. That is the Merriam Turkey. Merriam Turkeys are a very common diamond right now, and this also goes for the Merriam Turkeys on the Awaroa. However, on Silver Ridge Peaks it's a lot easier to find them because they have a train time on that map. It might be a bit difficult to grind them at start because their drink times are very short, but once you learn the best lakes as well as the best fits on locations, it will be very easy to get those diamonds. Another thing that makes them one of the most common diamonds is that it's very usual when they make diamond at level 2. I mean, if you find a level 2 with an estimate of 4 and a weight range of 9 to 11, it will have probably like a 10% chance of making diamond, so they are fairly common. And this is actually the same case for the Rio Grande Turkeys, they are also very common, they have exactly the same trophy rating, however, I just feel they are a bit more rare, and that's why I place the Merian Turkeys instead. Here is the map with all the locations to hunt Merian Turkey on Silver Ridge Peaks. Before the number 1, I have another honorable mention and that is the diamond goose. Now that they are working as they should, they are one of the most common diamonds, I would even say that they could compete with the whitetail and the gensbok. It's pretty much just a matter of patience and you could get even two diamonds on a single flock if you are lucky. You just need to set up some decoys and then of course go and spend some time hunting them and I'm sure it won't take too long before you get your first diamond. Now the most common diamond on the hunter of the wild, or more like the most common diamonds, and these are all the Ibex, with a special emphasis on the BCT Ibex. It's dumb. It's just dumb how common they are. I think there's no discussion on this one, I mean there are multiple Diamond Ibex on each map. 
they are pretty much everywhere, especially the Visiti. Then we have the Gridos, which is similar. Then the Ronda and the Southeastern are a bit more rare, but they are still really common. And this is actually kinda sad, because I think they look really, really good. The Diamond Visiti Ibex looks impressive. I mean, it is probably the best looking Ibex on the Grand Slam, but unfortunately, it is also the easiest to get. And in my opinion, they all should be very important trophy animals, especially the Grand Slam, which should be one of the biggest achievements on the game, in my opinion. And well, if you are looking to get your first diamond, or if you just want to increase your diamond count, you just need to check all these lakes at their training time, and 99% you'll find at least one diamond. Or if you don't want to hunt Ibex, you can go to Yukon Valley and hunt for some Harley Quinn dogs, which are the actual easiest diamond on this game. As well as the Cinnamon Teal, but I don't really like to count dogs. Alright, this is basically my top 5. I would really like to see how many of these diamonds you have, and if you disagree with my list, I would like to see yours. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know down in the comments. And okay, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more. With that said, thanks for watching and see you next time.